What's going on guys? Twin coming at you with another MLB The Show 19 video. And before we get into the Diamond Dynasty Ranked Seasons game today, I'm going to go ahead and choose my Diamond out of the first inning program pack. This is from the first inning program and getting to 300 stars in the program. And then you get this pack. Real quick before I choose my Diamond, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all their stats. Be sure to leave a like if you guys want some more Ranked Seasons content. Subscribe if y'all are new on the road to 19,000 subscribers. And comment down below who you're going to choose or if you already got here, who you chose. Here's Andrew Jones, an amazing center fielder, diamond hitting, diamond fielding with a lot of power, pretty solid speed, and really good fielding. We got Goose Gossage, 95 overall, throws gas, man. 97 for the velocity, up to a 99 mile per hour fastball, 119 hits per nine, 119 Ks per nine, 125 clutch, only 73 control, but 97 velocity along with 89 break. And then finally, we have 96 overall starting pitcher Cy Young, 125 stamina, 97 break, only 71 velocity, 99 walks per nine, 96 homers per nine, 102 clutch, 94 control. Pretty solid starting pitcher. I don't know about you guys. I'm just really not a fan of his windup, man. It's super, super slow. I've asked about this on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and I've seen a lot of different opinions. Personally, I've expressed mine. Cy Young, I'm not a huge fan of his slow windup. Andrew Jones, I already have Steve Finley in the outfield. I'm digging my outfield right now. My bullpen needs work and... All these guys are around the same price, so if I don't like Goose Gossage, I can always sell him and try another one, but I am going to be picking 95 closing pitcher Rich Gossage, adding him to my bullpen. Hopefully, you guys are okay with that pick. Again, in the comment section, let me know who you're going to pick, would have picked, or already picked. I'm just going to go ahead and add him to my bullpen right now. So... I do have a lot of righties. We have, I think, four. One, two, three, four, five. We have five righties in the bullpen, and... I like Jerry's Familia quite a bit. Lee Smith isn't bad. For me, I'm debating between AJ Ramos and Kyle Bearclaw. I think, oh man, this is tough. Maybe, honestly, Jerry's Familia. I think we're going to replace Jerry's Familia for now. I honestly think I'm going to do that. We're going to go ahead and get into this ranked seasons game. Try to get a win for you guys. We're playing the Minnesota Armadillos. Our opponent has Trey Turner, 87 Ricky Henderson, 81 Devin Travis. My brother was telling me he likes that card. Miguel Andahar. Eddie Rosario, Matt Chapman, 77 Logan Forsyth, I believe is creative player at catcher, 78 Max Scherzer on the mound. We got Yu Darvish on the mound. I'm hoping to get Goose in this game. I don't think I want a complete game with uh, with Yu Darvish, so I'm going to get Goose in this game for sure. He's going to be making his debut for me as well. I'm pretty sure. We'll see, though. Chris Bryant, deep to right field. I don't think it's going to be a home run. I I'm misjudging a lot of stuff this year, you guys. I want to say I'm sorry if the intro was kind of long. I didn't mean for it to be... Uh, I, it just took me a little bit longer to explain things and kind of go over things than I wanted it to. One more thing before we get into the rest of this game. I've been struggling in ranked seasons this year, man. Like, I'm not making bad contact. I'm just, I'm not making as good contact as I think I want to be. And then pitching, I'm still hanging pitches. However, that's just, sh that should, be, that should improve over time. You know, I, I hope it's not going to get worse. And I've been playing BR, I've been doing well in that, been playing a little bit of events. And continuing ranked seasons, I feel like I'm getting better game to game. Wow, I love having Ricky out there, man. Oh my goodness, I'm glad I have him out there. Wow. As I was saying, though, I feel like I'm getting better game to game, but I'm still not where I want to be, man. I'm, just, I'm not at all where I want to be. And we're still working on it, though. It, it, it's early on in the year where we're bound to improve. And I think my main goal for the rest of this game is just going to be to get things out of the zone. I'm, I'm throwing everything in the zone right now. I need to be doing that. I need to... No, this is... Oh, don't, don't tell me he's going to be safe. Yep, throw cancel. I hate that, man. I hate that. Because no meter pops up at first. That's an error, right? Yep, now... Oh, my goodness, man. Oh, that's like the third time in two games that's happened to me. I really need to... If there's a drop third strike, I think I need to just wait like two seconds before I actually make the throw. So that doesn't happen again. Joey Gallo starting the top of inning number two off with the base hit. There we go, man. I really, I need to try to figure out what I like to do with my PCI and my thumb on the PCI. Because sometimes I start it high, sometimes I start it here. And it, like, I started in so many different places. And honestly, what I would love to do is start it in the middle and just react to every pitch. Kind of try to expect something based on if I can figure out my opponent's tendencies but just react to where the pitch is thrown rather than trying to start high, trying to start low, whatever. I just, I want to start in the middle, have like the same setup every single time and just be in a nice, like consistent habit routine with hitting. But uh, 
I don't know, man. It, it, it's tough because sometimes certain things work, sometimes they don't, and I feel like I always need to change it up because if something's not working, I don't want to keep doing it. Guys, I just figured out how to do amazing at hitting. So, if it's a lefty, move the PCI up to the right just a little bit if there's a righty on the mound, or I guess if there's a lefty pitcher on the mound. Wait for the pitch to come in and just hit it. And you're going to get hits. Look at that, guys. We're one for one trying this new strategy. Let's see if we can keep it up. Oh, my goodness. That is filthy. Exactly what I tried to do in a work down. Let's go. Also, I might as well say uh, that hitting tip that I thought I figured out, it didn't work. Nothing happened after doing that. Me trying again. See? I'm trying it again, and I'm just... Let's just forget I even said that. Chris Bryant with the base hit. There we go. I'll take it, man. Leading off the top. Is it the third inning? I'm pretty sure it's inning three, maybe four. Oh, we're already in the fourth inning. Well, that's kind of flying by. Either way, nice base hit for Chris Bryant. Joey Gallo. I saw the change if I wanted it, man. Joey Gallo up the middle. Almost taking out the umpire there. Two straight hits to start off the inning. I got to score here. If I don't score here, I'm losing this game. I can tell you guys that right now. If I don't score here, I lose this game. I created player up to bat. I replaced him and uh, Andrelton Simmons in the lineup. Uh, I think it was like I flip-flopped him like fifth and seventh or something. So hopefully that move works out for me. 2-0 to my creative player. I have the green light to power swing for myself right now. And it works out. Three straight hits to start off the inning. I'm going home because he's playing deep. I don't think Trey Turner has that good of an arm. And we're scoring. Taking a one to nothing lead. Let's go, baby. Fred McGriff now. Bro, that's like four straight singles, man. Actually, that might not be his. Oh, I'm going to keep him at first because he might go to second. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. Four straight singles, I'm pretty sure. Runners on the corners, an RBI single for him. Two to nothing lead here in the top of inning number four. I don't think Joey Gallo is getting that one. Yo, not, not bad off the wall, honestly. We might get him at second. We almost got him at second. Joey Gallo, not bad feeling it off the wall. I thought at first I could get there. That's a leadoff double for our opponent here in the bottom of inning number five. Going to try to keep doing that for the rest of the inning. Hopefully, you Darvish can get out of this. No runs allowed. Man, I would love to keep that shutdown intact, bro. I do not want to allow any runs. I love doing that, man. As long as I don't... Leave it out more over the middle. I think I should be good throwing that, but that just feels so good being able to do that. Fred McGriff with the base hit. I think we're already in the seventh inning or something now. Like it's been it's been a little while since something in this game has happened, man. I'm hoping this is a big inning. I want to break it open. I want to break it open. We got Andrelton Simmons up to bat. Carl Edwards Jr. on the mound. I probably should get my bullpen going in a sec. You Darvish though, only giving up one hit, man. He's lights out on the mound. And if he has a shutout going, I think I might keep him in. I'm going to warm some people up in the bullpen, don't get me wrong. But if he has that shutout going and his pitch count's low, his energy's at a good spot, I might leave him in. Andrelton Simmons, he's playing down on inside edge today. So his contact versus righty sucks normally. And it's like down by 14 because of inside edge today. So I'm just watching these two pitches. Ball four for Andrelton Simmons. I'll take it. Corey Seager up to bat. Two on. Nobody down in the top of inning number two. Let's go, Corey Seager with the base hit. I'm not risking it, man. Nobody down. I don't need to send that runner home. We would have been safe. It doesn't matter. I'm going to get the run anyways. You Darvish. Oh, man. This is a tough spot. I'm going to warm up Goose. I'm going to warm up Goose and, uh, and Felipe, but I'm going to leave you Darvish in. Like I said, man, one hit shutdown. I, like, I feel like it'd almost be stupid to go to my bullpen at this point. I don't need to. But it also might be stupid not to take out you, Darvish. Let me know down in the comment section. Should I have taken out you, Darvish? Yes or no? He's scoring the run anyway. So, you know, I mean, it works out. There's a chance we got a pinch hitter and he could have just grounded into a double play. So, you, Darvish, at least getting the RBI there. Two on, only one down for the top of my lineup. Ricky Henderson, I'm batting 233 with this dude, bros. I'm, I might have to sell him and get a different one of the pre order diamonds because I'm struggling with Ricky Henderson so far. As we go and get a base set, of course. Man, what, right, when I why, right when I start to talk trash about somebody, they hear and they're like, okay, I don't want to get kicked off the team, so I got to show out now. Steve Finley, bro, 237. Are you going to get a hit now because you're, you're doing bad? I should have taken Andrew Jones. I'm going to sell both of those guys and get Andrew Jones, man, and have him play both positions somehow. Steve Finley, don't be a double play. Do not be a double play. 
It's not a double play. He drives in the run. All right, you're not kicked off the team yet, Stin Stinley. You're not kicked off the team yet, Steve. They got an RBI. I don't know if it technically counts as an RBI, but you drove in the run. So we're keeping you in the game. Chris Bryant with the drive. Caught. But we took a lead in that inning, man. We scored a few runs. We got a few base hits. Extended our lead by two. Nine outs away from you, Darvish. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be an error or a base hit. I feel like it's going to be a base hit just because I don't think he touched it. Let's see. Yeah, that's a base hit. I'll take it, man. Joey Gallo. I don't think... Uh, I don't know, man. Joey Gallo, either way, with the leadoff base hit here and the top of inning number eight. Carl Edwards Jr. stole in the mound. My creative player up, getting another base hit. Hit number 11 for us. Back-to-back -back hits to start off the inning. I wouldn't mind some insurance runs. You Darvish threw seven shutdown innings. One hit allowed. Only 69 pitches thrown. He's on fire today, man. Fred McGriff, I'm loving this card. Hanging pitch to him as we get another single, man. I love that you can actually get singles. I love that home runs are not only on. Or I, I love that runs are not only on home runs, man. It feels good. Andrelton Simmons with a little flare into the outfield. That's going to score two. I'm going to keep that runner. Oh, don't throw it a second. That's going to score two. RBI, two RBI, single. Two runners on. Nobody down still for Corey Seager now, who already has two hits today. 484 average for me so far in Diamond Dynasty. Let's go, man. Oh, wild pitch. I'm going to advance the runners. There we go, man. Two runners in scoring position now. Nobody down. One and one count to Corey Seager. Corey Seager. Puts, a, puts some good wood on it. It's going to score the run. I might as well just tag both guys. Uh, oh, we got it. Okay, I thought he was going to throw to third. There we go. We got the run. We got the runner to third. All we need from you, Darvers, is another fly ball. Dude, he's trying to get his second RBI of the game, man. Should I test it? I feel like I should. All his throws from right field have been offline. Not that one. Not that one. We're going to the bottom of inning number eight with a six or seven to nothing lead. You Darvish still on the mound. Couldn't quite get his uh, second RBI of the game. All right, guys, we're here in the bottom of inning number nine. Two outs. You Darvish on the mound looking for the one hit complete game shutdown. I'm sad we gave up a hit, man. I'm sad I gave up a hit because I could be going for a no hitter right now. I think I walked somebody pretty early on or something. Or was this, a po was this, was this pitcher batting eighth? I'm trying to think. Let me check. So our opponent's paused. Once the timer starts running out for me, we'll see that he's unpaused. Let's go to the, uh, I completely forgot there was an error in the first inning, man. I 100% forgot about that. Otherwise, if it weren't for the error and it weren't for the hit, then we'd be going for a perfect game. But if it weren't for that hit, we'd be going for a, uh, for a no hitter right now. And not a big deal though. Our opponent's been using a lot of pause time here in this, uh, this bottom part of the inning. I'm not really sure what's going on. All right, we're unpaused. 0-1 to him. He's been bunting with every hitter in this ninth inning, and he's doing it again. That is going to be the ball game. You Darvish getting his complete game shot out, man. Finally, we're winning another ranked seasons game. It feels good. I actually hit the ball pretty well. I felt good today, and I'm actually about to record the last video of today where we're trying to reveal a Diamond 12 winning reward in Battle Royale, so stay tuned for that. Should be going up four hours after you guys see this one, and hopefully I continue to play like I did in this video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment anything down below, getting closer and closer to 19,000 subscribers. Follow on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and the second channel. All that is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I'm really surprised that I actually did not score with a home run that game. I didn't have a home run. Seven runs, 13 hits, none of them homers. I think that's my first ranked seasons game of the year uh, without hitting a home run, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.